hello guys welcome back to our channel sequel to what happened some few days ago in Imo state where we saw rocha sokorosha the former governor of Imo state and also senator representing uh, Imo state being arrested by the hope uzodima government uh, and the statement made by rocha sokorosha against uzodima a group in olu local government area of Imo state have come up with a very strong strategy towards um, stripping Rochas Okorocha of his job if he does not do according to their demand. And in another news, the governor of uh, Imo State, uh, Hope Uzadima, has decided to speak about the assassination claim made by Rochas Okorocha and also the whole incident that happened uh, in Imo State. We are going to bring you that and then we'll go into analysis. And according to the news, a political group, Olu Political Consultative Assembly, Opoka, has demanded an apology from the former governor of Imo State, Rochas Okrocha, to Governor Hope Uzodima and the Imo people for allegedly raining abuses on them or face a recall from the Senate. The group has threatened to immediately initiate the legal process to Okorocha from the Senate if he handled their demands with liberty. Rex Anonobi, the national president of Opoka, while briefing newsmen in Oweri on Tuesday, said the assembly gives the, gave the former governor 48 hours to tender an honor reserve apology for allegedly hiring talks and breaking into a property sealed by the state government and act which he described as a total breakdown of law and order. The Boca president, who doubles as the state commissioner for transport, said the assembly is comprised of men and women of substance from Olu zone, including the handful of current government functionaries. According to him, he said, we have observed the conduct of the former governor of Imo State and senator representing Olu zone, Owele Rochas Okrocha, since the he vacated office and particularly the event of Sunday, February 21st, where he alarmingly took brigadish and lawlessness to the next level. Recall that a few days ago, the state government acting in accordance with a gazetted white paper and in line with the recovery policy sealed a property known as Royal Spring Palm Apartment and Hotel located along Akachi Road, Oweri, and purportedly owned by Rochas Okorocha's wife, Nkechinyere. Recall also that the order to seal the property was given by a judicial panel of inquiry and white paper gazetted by the government. If he feels otherwise or disagrees with the action of the state government, he should approach the court rather than throwing caution to the wind by using dangerously armed talks and domestic hoodlums to perpetuate heinous acts. It is therefore on this note that Oboka rise to condemn in strong terms the brigade, the brigadeish, togri, hooliganism and lawlessness criminally unleashed against the state by Korocha and his domestic hoodlums on Sunday, February 21st, 2021. To this end, we are giving him 48 hours to tender an unreserved apology to the governor and Imo people at large, or we shall be left with no option than to initiate a legal process to recall him as a senator representing Olu Zone. Mm, what a strong mind. And in another news, the governor of Imo State, Senator Hobo Zodima, has refuted claims that there were plans to assassinate his predecessor, Rocha Sokorocha. Zodima told newsmen after a meeting with President Muhammadu Buhari at the presidential villa in Abuja that he had no personal issues with Okorocha. Uzodima, in his words, says, You will recall that before I became the governor, the Ihedioha administration set up a judicial panel of inquiry to look into acquisition and allegation of lands con co converting government lands to personal property and then removing private lands from individual and giving to other individuals. The judicial panel of inquiry chaired by a judge met and they concluded their job and a white paper have since been raised. 
you know institutions and agencies that are involved with implementation are doing their job. The Imo people maintain, or sorry, the Imo governor maintain that he is not directly involved and the decision was taken by the government, adding that the great parties should go to court to address the issue and not to take laws into their hand. Mm, a serious one day for Rochas Okorocha. But if you've listened very well to the first uh, uh, news that we heard talking about giving uh, Rochas Okorocha 48 hours to tender apology to the current governor of Imo State, you will notice that the person behind this whole act is actually the Commissioner of Transport. You understand? The commissioner of Transport, who is a part of the Hope Uzadi Mass government. So you cannot get anything less than for him to give. Uh, support to his own principal you understand so uh, but right now for me it's a serious issue but at the same time it may not be a serious issue because if you are looking at olu zone precisely you will notice that um greater number of people they also uh supporters of Ihe, sorry of uh, Rochas Okorocha a lot of them they are supporters of Rochas Okorocha so bringing up such a thing if you must follow the legal process and the due process that will you know get him out of the office of a senator is going to be very very difficult thus far we've not seen any happen you understand we've not seen any happen uh, but uh, it's a pointer to the fact that uh, there is no peace in Imo State right now because the two factions who are unfortunately in the same party are going to do everything within their base to see who will up his game best. They will want to prove a point and in the process of proving that point, more terrible things are going to happen. But the truth is, uh, what goes around comes around, you know. Some of those things, well, that's why when people are in power, they, there's always a warning that don't forget that the, the max you're going to stay there is just eight years. Uh, yeah, that's the maximum time you can stay there. So if you are intending to build a dynasty and bring in your own people, stripping people of what they have and uh, making it your own, eight years after, there may be another pharaoh who does not know Joseph. And when he shows up, he will do exactly according to the content of his mind and possibly what the people are demanding. So right now, Rocha Sukurocha has been given 48 hours. If not, he will be recalled from seeing it. The big question is how possible can that be considering the situation on ground? Don't forget that when Rocha Sukurocha was talking about the issue of him being arrested. He did make mention, he did extend his regards to the presidency, that it was a timely intervention of the presidency that saved the day for him. So which day for means everything still revolves around the fact that uh, the president needs to come in and stop stuff and all of that. Then looking at what Hobo Zarima has said, that he's not involved. Yeah, there's some truth in it because truly, Hedio had already set up that commission and already we started seeing moves. There were some moves taken by Hedio has government towards getting back what belongs to the states. But whatever we are waiting to see, or uh, what will uh, what will happen in the nearest future? Because I know that Hobu Zarima, uh, sorry, Rocha Rocha will not for his hand and watch that kind of uh, huge property taken from him. He's going to fight it, whether legally or illegally. However, let's leave it. They go to our comment section. What do you think about these two issues that have?